We're here at Faroe Field where the undefeated Missouri Tigers are looking to take on the 2-2 two and two Red Wolves of Arkansas State. Now coming off of a big win last week at Indiana, the Missouri Tigers are looking for that momentum to shift in so they can remain 4-0 before they take on SEC play in the upcoming weeks. That's right, Avery, and what a difference a year makes. Last year, obviously, Arkansas State 10-3 and three, won their bowl game. Mm -hmm. Missouri kind of on the opposite end of that spectrum. Had a difficult year in their first season in the SEC, dealt with a ton of injuries, but now obviously the favorite in this game. Last week, Arkansas State got dominated by the Memphis Tigers. This week, they wanted to see what they could do against the Missouri Tigers. Family weekend here at Furrow Field as the Tigers look to get off to their best start to a season in three years. Quarterback James Franklin came into this game with six touchdowns and 873 passing yards and looks to have another big game against Arkansas State. The Red Wolves jumped to an early 6-0 lead as the Mizzou offense struggled, but the Tigers got it going here with this big 42-yard run from Russell Hansborough. The sophomore tailback is leading the team with an impressive 8.6 yards per carry. That set up this touchdown for Marcus Murphy, who takes the pitch from Franklin and bursts to the outside and across the goal line. Mizzou takes the lead 7-6 as Tigers great Elvis Fisher is there to cheer on from the sidelines. Franklin, who is ranked fifth among SEC quarterbacks this season, started heating up and three minutes into the second quarter went big throwing a bomb to Doyle Green Beckham for a 68-yard touchdown to take a 14-6 lead over the Red Wolves. DGB is taking over in his sophomore season and leads the team with an average of 83.5 receiving yards a game. Arkansas State was not going away and quickly made their way back into Mizzou territory when QB Adam Kennedy threw a 17-yard pass to Julian Jones for a touchdown, now trailing Mizzou by one. Associate head coach David Steckel took some time to motivate the defense after that last defensive play, and it must have worked because when it looked like the Red Wolves were going to score again, Missouri defense made a huge stop after pressuring Kennedy, causing him to throw up the ball to Braylon Webb for a loss of 12 yards and closing out the first half. The Tigers went into the locker room with a one-point lead, 14-13. to 13. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Max Copeland was fired up for the second half, and apparently his enthusiasm rubbed off on the rest of the offense as James Franklin connects here to Darius White for a solid game. Just a little bit later, Franklin rolls to his right and throws a dart to LaDamian Washington in the corner of the end zone. For all the talk about Marcus Lucas and DGB, Washington has been great, as that snag was his third TD of the year to give the Tigers the lead back for good, 20-16. Mizzou would go on to widen that gap later on, as Henry Josie finds a big hole on the outside and races downfield for a 45-yard scamper, a foot race down the field before finally being pushed out of bounds. The drive continued in the fourth quarter. It would end just as it started, as Josie essentially walks into the end zone for his fourth score of the year. Mizzou goes up 27-16. Franklin continued to have a stellar night passing the ball, throwing a 23-yarder to LaDamian Washington, moving the Tigers to the Arkansas 9-yard line and setting up a perfect opportunity to get some more points on the board. And that is exactly what they did. With Franklin unable to find a receiver, he took it into his own hands and ran right into the end zone with a 9-yard Missouri touchdown, building the lead 34-19. Missouri wasn't done scoring for the night and had one final touchdown to make the final score 41-19. This was definitely a big confidence boost for the Tigers as they remain undefeated heading into SEC play. Well, it wasn't pretty early on as Missouri Tigers got off to kind of a rough start tonight, mm -hmm. trailing 16-14 to midway through the third quarter, but then things started to click. That's right. The Missouri defense started making big stops and causing turnovers, which made it easy for the Missouri offense to start connecting on passes and making big plays. So instead of being down by two, the Missouri Tigers started making touchdowns. They had four touchdowns between the third quarter and the end of the fourth quarter, which is a really big for this offense, especially in end of games, making them take the lead and win the game 41 to. 19. Even quarterback James Franklin had a touchdown of his own. That's right. And also take away from this game, Gary Pinkle moves to second on the all-time wins list mm -hmm. for head coaches in Missouri football history. But he knows the biggest wins are still to come as Missouri starts SEC play next week when they go to Vanderbilt to take on the Commodores. At Furrow Field, for Avery Franklin, I'm Nick Heeman, 23 Sports.